Hi guys, welcome to Money Kitchen Addiction. It's your girl, the only money with the double K, K. So guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how I cook this mat watering gadi egg sauce, okay? So this is the quantity of gadi eggs that I will be using, okay? And uh, before we start cooking, let me quickly introduce the ingredients I will be using. I will be using sherry tomatoes. I prefer using sherry tomatoes for my sauce, okay? And I'm going to be using scotch bonnet and onions. I'm going to add more onions to it though. I will be adding one more, okay? I will also be using crayfish, okay? And mackerel fish. Like guys, if you want to cook this sauce, you can just use only crayfish and mackerel fish and you are good to go. Just that we love to shoot something in my home. So I will, I will be adding a little chewable something, you guys know. So I already cleaned my mackerel fish and now I will be adding gizzard and turkey. So I just disbond the turkey, okay? And I also cleaned the gizzard. So this is what I will be adding because we love to choose something. But you can use only mackerel fish and crayfish, okay? And these are the spices that I will be using, okay? I will be using uh, thyme, curry, salt, and two stock cube, okay? You can use more or less. And I will be using vegetable. You can make use of any vegetables of your choice, but I'm making use of fresh spinach. And I'm adding zucchini to it, okay? This is optional though. Adding zucchini is optional. I just cleaned my vegetable and I'm just going to slice to my preferred shape and size. Now, let's start cooking. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pour the cleaned Got the egg inside the pot, add the zucchini, and also wrap my scotch bonnet in a nylon. Pour in water and cover it to cook. It's going to take 15 minutes for it to be fully cooked. So I just covered for it to cook. So while we leave this to cook, let's proceed to the other. Now I already cleaned my meat, pour it inside the pot, added one stock cube, um, thyme, and curry. And I'm also going to add in just a little salt. Then I'm going to stir to mix. I'm adding onions also. Then I'm going to stir to mix, cover it to cook. It's just going to take 10 minutes for it to be fully cooked. After 10 minutes, so I'm just going to remove the meat from the fire and fry everything. I start by frying the fish, okay? So I'm just going to let the fish dry as much as possible. So after that, this is it. Our gaddy egg is fully done. All I'm going to do is just to remove it from the water and pour it inside the sieve. So to sieve out the water, I'm going to leave it in a sieve for like 10 minutes so all the water can sieve out okay guys so that's it i'm going to leave it here for 15 minutes guys after 15 minutes this is it i didn't know i was not recording as you can see i removed the skin of the gaddy egg okay I removed the skin of the gaddy egg because the skin of the gaddy egg makes it come out bitter. But though back then in Nigeria, when my mom cooked this thing with the back hole, the thing will not be bitter. I used to cook it there. But the first time I cooked it here in Western country, without removing the back, the thing was bitter. Let me not lie. So I have to like, I don't take chances anymore. So I always remove the skin. So after removing the skin, I press out the water. Then I pour it inside my small mortar and pound it so i don't like mine to be too smooth so i just make it scrambled okay so the choice is yours if you like it to be very smooth you have to like pound it very well but for me i just do it little because i want it to be scrambled like if you are using like if you've tried it before and it come out better i will advise you to remove the skin because back then in nigeria with some people we used to remove the skin but my mom don't remove the skin she cook it like that and it doesn't come out bitter okay so that's it but removing this the skin is helpful like definitely it will not come out bitter 
then you have to press out the water because the water is what makes it bitter also so that's it guys i'm going to pound everything the zucchini the pepper the tomatoes i'm just going to pound them scramble them and that's how i want it i don't like to slice the tomatoes i just love to pound it okay so thank you guys for watching please i will advise you uh, let me say i will beg you to please follow my page subscribe to my youtube channel like and also share drop a comment your comment is uh is like a word of encouragement okay even if the video like the video did not go down well with you you can be constructive in your criticism okay guys so let's move to the next level okay so all i'm going to do i'm going to place a pan on fire leave it to dry up then pour in my sunflower oil leave it to hot for like two minutes then my hand pick crayfish so i hand pick it dust out the dirt and all so after leaving my oil to hot for a few minutes i pour in the crayfish so if you are frying your crayfish for the first time when your oil is hot enough i will advise you off you switch off the gas or lower it okay so your crayfish will get burnt then pour in the onions like this is going to give your food the whole house an amazing aroma trust me i love to do this with my sauce if you have been watching my video this is how i do my sauce okay now i pour in the already the scrambled uh sherry tomatoes and i'm also going to pour in the scotch bonnet then stir and cover it to steam for like two or three minutes okay so the tomatoes won't have that biting taste okay guys so this is after two to three minutes and i'm going to give it a stir add in the spices i'm adding a little turmeric curry and thyme okay and i will be pouring in just a little stock water I will be adding one stock cube and salt. You can use more stock cube, more salt, depending on the quantity of the egg you are cooking, okay? Now, I'm going to pour in the fried turkey and gizzard. Then, I'm going to stir it. I will also be pouring in the fried fish like i disbonded i remove all the bones okay so guys i'm going to stir fry for like two to three minutes after that i'm going to pour in the garlic eggs and i will be adding in the zucchini And I'm going to stir fry. So guys, no matter how much you mill out the water, it's still going to have some water in it. So after stir frying, I'm going to cover it so it will dry up the water because that water will be something that is still going to make it have a bitter taste or taste bitter. So I'm going to cover it for a few minutes. Then this is it. I'm still going to stir. So I just added eggs like it's in the constitution of got the egg sauce like in my house we must add eggs you know so this is optional okay guys so i just added eggs so guys after stirring i'm going to taste for salt and salt cube and everything okay guys now 
What am I adding next? I'm adding in the vegetables. Like you can cook without vegetable, but for me, I love it with vegetable. Like I forgot the name of vegetable we used to use back then. I forget the I forgot the English name we used to use back then to cook this sauce back then in Nigeria. So, but I'm making use of spinach. Like the zucchini, I added give it another like another taste, another good aroma. But that's optional though. But I love it with it. So guys, our Gadi egg sauce is ready. Please, if you've not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to like my page, don't forget to follow my page, okay? And share if you find this content useful. And I would love to also read comments, okay guys? This is it, I'm just going to serve some. I'm enjoying this with Yama Plante. Okay, and then uh, you can also use it to eat rice. Like some people use it to eat swallow, but for me, I use it to eat rice, plantain, and uh, mostly plantain and yam. Okay, this really came out delicious. Like this whole sauce finished same day. I'm not exaggerating. It finished same day. We finish it up. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Uh, please don't. Like I said earlier, subscribe, like, and share. And also come and have some. Come and share with me. <laughs> come and eat with me. I hope you got it right if you use my recipe. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.